I'm here at Sun and Fun with Dave, a fellow Australian with Turb Aero, and he's going to talk about their 200 horsepower turbine, which is under development. Uh, a lot of people out there, like myself, have been waiting for more information on this, so I'm very eager to talk to him and learn more about it. Hi, I'm Dave Limmer, founder of Turb Aero. Turb Aero is an Australian company that's developing a 200 horsepower turboprop engine for the experimental market. The engine itself has been under development for four years. Uh, we've just completed the design phase for the engine and we're currently prototyping components for the prototype engine. The engine itself is targeted initially at the experimental aircraft market and pretty well every aircraft that we've got here at uh, the air show that utilises an O320, O360, O390 type engine will suit our engine. We're aiming to get it into as many experimental aircraft as we can. We've had a lot of inquiries already from the Vans Fraternity, Velocities, Arion Lightning, which we have as our own company aircraft, by the way. The reason Turb Aero is developing this engine is because there is no fuel efficient turbine engine for this particular category of aircraft. Uh, when I started my search about eight years ago for my own aircraft, which is the one behind me, I wanted a turbine engine because that's what I've flown behind all my life. There was nothing out there. That started us on the journey of developing this engine. Here we are six years later, commencing the prototyping of the engine. The engine itself is a clean sheet design and we're incorporating technology which enhances the fuel efficiency of the engine. The technology we're incorporating is recuperated technology, which is essentially heat exchange technology. And that allows an improvement of about 20% over a, tradi a traditional turbine engine. The reason we selected recuperator technology for our engine is that a recuperator offers the best enhancement of fuel efficiency that's available at the moment. Traditionally, you can either increase the temperatures or pressures within an engine to improve its efficiency, but alternatively, the recuperator can do a better job for a lower price. Recuperator technology is heat exchange technology. And the way that it works essentially is that the compressor air, which normally flows into the combustor directly from the compressor, is heated by the recuperator using the exhaust gas. Recuperator is a heat exchanger. So the compressor air that enters the combustion chamber is now preheated to a higher temperature by the recuperator. What that means is we have to squirt in less fuel to raise the temperature of the gas flow to the temperature required to produce the power of the engine. Over a traditional turbine engine, the recuperator can enhance the performance by about 20% over the, the fuel efficiency of an unrecuperated engine. This is significant, particularly for this bottom end of the market, who is very price conscious and wants the best fuel efficiency. We had to incorporate this technology to get as close to the piston engines as possible. What we're finding with our analyses is that we're going to be fairly close in fuel consumption to the piston engines that we'll be competing against in the market to start off with. Certainly, once we reach 10,000 feet, our fuel flow is going to be very similar to the piston engines. Uh, and once we climb above 10,000 feet, we'll find that that uh, fuel efficiency improves even further. Bear in mind also that the cost of Jet A is around about 20% less than 100 LL or Avgas at the moment, which also means a cost saving for fuel. We're targeting a 3,000 hour time before overhaul, which is about 50% more than most of the piston engines. That will be validated and verified through testing. Our overall cost we also anticipate to be slightly less than that for the equivalent piston engine as well. As far as after sales support, maintenance, repair and overhaul, our aim is to establish a nationwide in the US and eventually worldwide support system that will give great accessibility for the customers to the maintenance, repair and overhaul all functions for the engine. The 200 horsepower uncertified engine is going to be the first in our range. We will be aiming for certification in due course to allow it to go into the likes of the Pipers, Cessnas, uh, the, the Cirrus aircraft as well too. Once we've commenced certification program for the 200 horsepower engine, we're anticipating developing a 320 to 350 horsepower engine for both the certified and uncertified markets as well too. That's likely to follow on about 12 months after our 200 horsepower program uh, has our engine running. The target price point for our engine is around about $85,000, but I need to caveat that with, we still have a development program ahead of us. We've still got around about 18 months of testing and refinement of the design to go. 
We also need to establish our supply chain for production of the engine. So whilst our target is 85,000 now, that is possibly going to change in the future. We're aiming to deliver a fuel efficient, cost effective 200 horsepower turboprop engine to the experimental aircraft for eternity. For those of you that are interested in purchasing our engine, we've implemented a no cost, no obligation registration of interest program where you can get yourself on a list that puts you on a priority or gives you a priority for once we open up the order book. If you want to register your interest, please visit our website for more information. To stay up to date with what's going on, please subscribe to our newsletter or visit our Facebook page.